check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Meet the Browns actor Brandon J. exposes Tyler Perry, saying working with Tyler Perry was a wild experience after Tyler reportedly changed the entire script on the spot to make his character gay. Oh, it's Brandon J. aka Jeffrey from Meet the Browns, and I think it's about time I really tell the story behind why I was screaming in this episode. It was the most stressful day of my life. Y'all want a story time? Let's go. So here's a story time about how filming Meet the Browns was the most stressful and hardest thing that I've ever done in my entire life. I had no idea that Tyler Perry's studio schedule was so drastic. If you're working on a regular network show, they take a whole week to film an episode. Tyler Perry Studios, they film an episode in one day. The character was Jeffrey, a fat high school teenager who was very intellectual, who was getting bullied at school. I take two to three days to learn the entire script. On the day of filming, first thing we do is a table read. I know all of my lines, I'm ready to go. So the director, who is Alfonso Ribeiro Carlton in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, he starts to block us, telling the actors where to go, where to stand. Mr. Perry comes in, everything changes. So we literally run the entire episode for him and he hates it. Does that mean I have to learn a whole new script? Yes, that's what it means. Mr. Perry on the spot starts rewriting the entire script and he's feeding me the lines to say, and the director is kind of standing on the side like, you better do it because if not, they will fire you. Here is where the shoe hit the fan. So in the middle of Mr. Perry changing up the scenes, he says, you know, I want Jeffrey to be gay and he has a crush on his bully. That's not what I auditioned for. What? Click. So this is part two of my traumatic filming of Meet the Browns. So after Mr. Perry says, we're gonna change the character and make him gay, I immediately get on the phone with my mom because I'm like, is this customary? Can they just change a character like this? And she didn't really know the answer to that. So she got on the phone with my agent. My agent was like, absolutely not. If Brandon doesn't feel comfortable with playing this character, then he can walk from this because you don't have to do anything that you don't feel comfortable doing. And then they call the casting director. Casting director's on the phone and she's like, hey, I'm not on set today. I hear that they changed the character. Do you want to walk away from this project? Yes or no? At this point, I'm extremely overwhelmed. I really don't know what I want to do. I had waited years and years to work with Tyler Perry. It was the biggest dream that I had at the time. I want to tell this story. I want to play this character. I feel like it's mine and I'm gonna do it. We go on break, I'm sitting in my dressing room and in walks the assistant director. I have an entire new script with all new lines, pages and pages and pages. I have an hour to learn this stuff. I'm literally feeling the pressure right now. It's my first television gig and I don't wanna jack this up. Tamala Mann calls me into her dressing room. We're gonna run lines together and I'm in her room freaking out. She said, you are here for a reason. You have been placed in this role, in this position at this time because you can do this. You can handle this. She was literally a godsend. After that, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling ready. We go to lunch and we come back from lunch and guess what? They've changed the script again. Scrap the script we just gave you an hour ago. Here's draft five. Like This is part three of my traumatic experience filming Meet the Browns. They say you have 15 minutes to work on your script and we're about to start filming. I go into hair and makeup for them to touch me up and I start to read the script. And I see that Jeffrey is no longer gay. So far today, I've been given three new scripts and my character has been changed twice. I'm just confused, but now it's time to film. It's go time, time is money. So we start filming the first scene and Mr. Perry's on the side of us feeding lines to Tamala Man, and he's trying to get her to cuss in the scene and she will not cuss. That was funny. Now it's time to film the biggest three scenes that I have. We only have have three takes to get it right. The first take happens and I'm flubbing all of the lines. Every line I'm saying wrong. I don't know where I even am right now. There's an acting coach that comes up on, to me on set and he's like, you're not giving it right now. Also, there's a script supervisor that's coming up to me and she's like, you said this line wrong, this line wrong, this line wrong. And I'm like, I can't remember this stuff. And then we do take number two. I'm like breaking under the pressure. Mr. Perry's looking at me. They're all expecting me to deliver and I just don't know what to say. The director comes up to me. I don't know if he's trying to antagonize me, but he's in my face and he's like, you know, you need to get this right. You, you need to tune in. What if this was happening to you in real life? You need to tune in, you need to tune in. Tamala Man is behind me and she's like, come on, Jeffrey, come on. We gotta get this done, we gotta get this done. And it's pressure, 
pressure, pressure, pressure from all sides. Like for part, here's part four of my traumatic filming of Meet the Browns. I remember the person that I wanted to impress the most was Mr. Perry. I always looked up to him and he was just sitting on the side looking at me. He was just looking at me like waiting for me to do something. I felt like I was, well, he was about to fire me. Everybody's expecting me to pull something out. They don't even let me finish the third take. They're like, cut, 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 we need to reset. So at this time, I just kind of black out and I get so angry and frustrated in the moment that when they call action on the fourth take, I lose it. I'm screaming, I'm yelling, I'm crying. Not because I was acting, but I was feeling those emotions because of how overwhelmed I was in this moment. And Mr. Perry allowed me to just say whatever. And that's the scene and the moment that made it to television. With you, man. I'm sick of you playing with me. All of y'all, <laughs> all of y'all. You tease me every day. You follow me home from school and you you punch me. Jeffrey, this is not the way you handle it. Shut up, shut up. I told him to stop. I told you to stop. And you wouldn't listen. And you listening now, aren't you? You listening now, aren't you? Click like for the final part of this story. Here's the final part of my traumatic filming of Meet the Browns. So it's the final scene with me and Tamala Man, and she's hugging me and um, they end up calling rap. I finished the episode. I feel so accomplished, but I don't know how I really did. Like, I don't know if it was a good job. And Mr. Perry calls me over to the side and he's like, what's your name? And I said, my name is Brandon J. And he said, you did a phenomenal job. And I just like felt so seen at that moment and validated and like I took the challenge. It was the most stressful day of my life, but I didn't let it stop me. I could have went home when they changed the character. Like I could have just quit. But because I did that episode from there, I felt like I could do anything in the world. And I told Mr. Perry, I was like, I don't think you remember this, but I met you when I was like 12 years old, a young, inspiring, playwright and um, I met him at the shark bar. I just told him how big of a fan I was and he was like, keep following your dreams and one day you're gonna make it. And then years later, I'm working with him and it was crazy. I say that it was traumatic because it literally was my first TV episode ever. I never done anything that pushed me that far. But in one day of working at Tyler Perry Studios, it was like 10 years of training. Stuff that you would never learn in acting school. I learned in one day on this set. I wouldn't take it away for nothing. So even though the experience was tough, I am so glad that I had that moment. It was a career defining moment for me. And I went on to do Disney and work for B to be on network television, but that was the place that I was able to launch my career, if you will, in TV and film. Yeah.